All right. Why did you travel to Boston? Is it is it rolling? Okay. <laughs> so I went to Boston for the run show and I had three different speaking slots and so I needed to be very present, but also keep training a priority. For me, I always make sure that once I get off the plane, um, I check my hotel and I immediately do a workout. No matter how I'm feeling, uh, no matter what time of day is, it never feels good. I feel terrible working off, uh, working out right from the plane, but um, what it does allow me to do is just loosen up the body and get recentered and just think about you know, whether it's a race or an event ahead, I just use that time. Typically it's in a gym. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do some mobility, I'll run a little bit, um, I'll do some weights, just check in with the body and see how I'm doing. I've been traveling since 2016, so I've, I've been trying to figure out a good routine um, over the years. I don't think I have it nailed down perfectly because every trip is different. But what I do know has helped me is that I just relinquish all of my expectations for obviously I'm, I'm not gonna have time to get up on a mountain or a trail. I then just to commit to working out two to three times a day. The sessions are pretty short. So we are in between sessions here at the run show and trying to get in some training, get all my miles in. I did an hour and a half session this morning when I woke up. Went to the ribbon cutting for the opening of the run show. Came back, got the kids up. We went to a really nice breakfast at rest. And now I'm gonna start session two. Session two will probably last, let's see. I have to be there at 2.30, is that right? So I have an hour and a half um, workout right now and then I'll do another probably hour and a half, two hours tonight. So it's Saturday and I usually have um, a nice long workout on Saturday and I try to pack in anywhere between like three and four hours. So that's what I'm trying to do today. And honestly, I feel like this is just kind of the way I've always trained because having little kids, you have to break up your workouts. So I know that there's great benefits in like the long continuous run but sometimes you just need to get the workout done and you do it as best you can with what you have and so when I travel when I do events a lot of times this is what my training looks like I fit it in where I can So it was really cool about this particular trip was I was able to bring you, Eddie, and then the kids with us, which is really important to me. I don't always get to bring my kids with me when I travel, and now that they've gotten a little bit older and there's a little bit of lull in their uh, sports schedules, we were able to bring them with us and they're at an age right now where um, they will remember these trips and we have so much fun together. Our kids are just fun. Isaiah and Mackenzie are, they're so enjoyable to be around and they are pretty much up for anything. At one point Mackenzie got up on the stage with me, which I'll never forget that. I think that's probably my favorite part of the entire weekend was being able to share the audience with my daughter. And that's really what it's about. If you are someone who does travel for your career, um, you know, and you find yourself in hotels or Airbnbs, my number one tip is before you travel, you treat your training um, the same way that you treat your suitcase. You prepare and you pack and you, you have a plan and uh, you know what, what you're gonna do when you get there. Always, uh, of course, 
proceed with grace, knowing, you know, uh, schedules change, agendas are moved around. But when you have some type of plan in place, it gives you a little bit more control and, and confidence that, okay, I am going to get this training in. Oh. All right. All right, I'm leaving. It's nine o'clock. No, it's 920. I'm already I'm counting the minutes. We just got back from the most epic ice hockey game between Harvard and Boston. Even went into overtime. And um, now I'm gonna go run. Although I'd much rather be here with, uh, with my babes. Snuggling up and watching a movie, hanging out. So if you're wondering, no, I am not motivated, and no, I do not want to go run right now. I want to be right there. I'm tired. I made coffee. But no one else can do the work for me, so I'll see you guys like in 45 minutes. I'll love you. 60 minutes. Love you too. Okay, bye. The second tip that I would give um, while you are traveling is to be okay with with shifting your training into a completely different schedule. So sometimes if I am traveling to, um, you know, like a weekend appearance and they actually need me for, you know, 10 hours a day, what I'll do is the two days before I travel, I'll do two hard workout days or like two, um, two back to back, like pretty solid workouts. And we will have like a long day in the gym, you know, a run. And then maybe the next day is like a long run. And then the two days that I am, I am traveling and, and doing my appearance, um, those are more recovery days. But what I'll do is I'll just do two easy days in the gym. So I feel good about getting like the solid workout stuff done before I travel. And then that way I can not be so stressed out about like needing to hit a certain pace in a workout or needing to get in a certain mileage. Um, I'm able to use that time to kind of recover and do easier workouts. The third thing is utilize um, apps, uh, utilize workout apps. And you know, a lot of TVs now are smart TVs and hotels. And so you could even, you know, open up YouTube and you can find hit workouts on YouTube. You can, um, you can download my app. Uh, I have a lot of um, short workouts that you can do right there in your ho hotel um, room that, you know, sometimes that's all you need is like a quick 15, 20 minute workout to get the blood moving and just to make you feel good, get a little sweat in. Um, but the goal in all training, in your journey to whatever, you know, whatever goal you're, you actually have is just consistency. So instead of beating yourself up for not hitting like a certain mileage or your workout not looking the way it does when you're at home, just remind yourself that every day that you show up doing the best with what you have, that's the most powerful part of your training is that you consistently are showing up and doing something. So yeah, that's good for the brain. <laughs>